Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily reading um, for Wednesday, April the 23rd. So we have an interesting set of cards on the table today, okay? I'm going to, um, I've decided to read this reading from right to left, okay? And there's an, there's an interesting reason for that. And I, it's just, it has to do um, with the, the fact that this knight is... Though so he's facing this way, his he's looking over here, like over to these wands, but the horse is moving him this way. So um, I just been moved to begin here and work my way to the left. So um, we begin with the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands is a card um, which speaks about moving on to new phases, um, um, building up reserves. Um, uh, preparation that kind of thing okay and um, we must prepare so the, the the this card is a preparation card okay so there's preparation going on all right we need to prepare set our in order to set ourselves up for the success further down the line as we can denote here by the coin cards okay we've got an 8 and a 10 but I'm looking at the further down the line the 10 and um which is a very successful money card you know um but yes you must build your reserves you must prepare and there's uh, um, energies that need to be um completely focused on those preparations okay um what, what happens with this knight of swords the knight of swords wants to jump the gun wants to jump ahead and and um, it's interesting when you see this gap from a 3 to the 8 to the 10, and there he is. And it's kind of like he wants to skip ahead, zoom, like fast forward. It's like you're fast forwarding in a movie, right? And and reach a success. Um, but there are steps that need to be taken, okay? And so this makes this um, Knight of Swords very impetuous, you know, very fiery also. Just, I want this now, my way now, give it to me. No, it can't be that way. Um, you have to prepare you have to build your reserves okay the next card is the eight of coins and the eight of coins okay is a card um a really of improvement and really understanding your personal limits so what this is telling me is that the knight here this this persona this person who wants to jump on every new business opportunity that there is or whatever comes his or her way um, needs to understand how to work within their personal limits okay so in understanding your limitations your financial limitations this is what I'm getting understand your financial limitations and work with what you have then you're able to achieve the success that you will find in the ten of coins okay the problem is that if you're not working within your financial limitations okay so like what i'm getting here is that uh, if if this card is saying preparation and building reserves but you want to jump the gun and um not really because he's not looking see he's not exactly looking at this this card of of um of uh, the personal limitations and you're not understanding your financial portfolio or your your credit even your credit so i'm getting credit card here and you're working outside of the you're trying to work outside of the the confines of your current um credit and monetary situation overall you're going to set yourself up for failure okay so what what do we see here i'm getting that don't go charging on your credit card on the plastic a bunch of of uh don't start making all these charges on your plastic on your credit cards um just because you think that that's going you know that it's going to pay off right away it's not going to pay off right away okay it's not um but if you're understanding your limitations okay and improving um, your knowledge of money management, okay, you will achieve the success of the ten of coins, okay, and you know, I, I, during this process, you, there's a sense of uh, there is self discovery. You're understanding um, how financial matters really do touch and affect every aspect of whatever it is that you're trying to achieve with um, here um, with the the three of wands which is the, the card of preparation and building reserves okay so don't jump the gun don't jump ahead and start charging up on your credit card on that amex or whatever all this stuff because you're saying this is my business expenses i'm going to do all this high speed stuff and but then you you know you can't even pay for all these things that you charge for and you know it, that's ridiculous so don't do it 
okay you don't need to prove anything to anyone all right just prove to yourself that you can be financially sane all right and so the the oracle cards that that i pulled is sanctuary and um it's interesting because this fairy she's looking into this box and she's looking in there and she's kind of examining what's inside of it and it's not a very big box it's a small box it's a you know this is my savings that kind of thing this is what i have this is the money that i have to work with um, for whatever it is that I'm trying to achieve here. Anyway, a sanctuary card is, um, says, within your heart, a space of regenerating sanctuary awaits. That's all fine and everything, but what I'm getting is that um, look at what it is that you do have to work with and understand your limitations and work within the rest uh, those confines of, uh, you know, those boundaries. Work with those limitations so that you set yourself up for financial success in the future okay all right so if i own the club and i can get the band in for 500 bucks blah 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 great but i want to get the other band and it's a major band and they won fifteen thousand dollars a night and i'm only making you know five thousand dollars a night are you kidding me that's just an example right you get my drift have a blessed day always and i will see you tomorrow bye bye